Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and take care. The movie begins with members of the US Special Forces preparing for an important mission. They must travel to an island owned by a Russian arms dealer, to rescue a CIA member who has recently been arrested by some criminals. Among the four is a new member with little experience, Kinney. This is his second mission, and he is visibly nervous. One of the soldiers, Bishop, tells Kinney this will be a tough operation of a higher difficulty. Moreover, he tells Kinney to be careful, or he will become a prisoner himself, having another person to rescue is the last thing they need. Eventually, they manage to land on the island without any problems, jumping from the helicopter. As soon as they arrive, they immediately get in touch with two operators who are at the military base, Eddie and Nia. They will be their guides during the journey to the enemy's location. The objective is about 10 kilometers from the landing site, a journey they will have to make on foot. Along the way, the soldiers get to know each other. Kinney does not feel confident in front of several other more experienced and higher ranking members. It turns out Kinney was actually chosen for this mission by pure chance, because his rank did not allow him to do so. On the other hand, the general had no other options and had to assign him to this mission. On the way, Sergeant Abel notices movement 100 meters away from them. They immediately stop, and Kinney calls for help from the base. Thanks to a drone, Eddie is able to see the four soldiers, but as he tries to move 100 meters ahead to check the area, he loses contact. The soldiers are forced to survey the area the old-fashioned way, and begin to walk silently. Suddenly, out of nowhere comes a boar, the soldiers breathe a sigh of relief. After a long walk, they finally reach their destination. The four see some soldiers guarding the property. Since the mission is to free the hostage cleanly, a soldier sugar tells them not to shoot, unless necessary. Following that, the team splits up and takes their positions. Soon, the arms dealer, Petrov, the owner of the island appears. The team sees him arrive along with his wife and children. A few minutes later, several armed troops arrive on the scene. The American soldiers realize that one terrorist is one of the world's most wanted criminals, Hashimi. The soldiers conclude Hashimi is here to do business with the arms dealer, and decide to observe how things will go. Meanwhile, Eddie briefs the team on the territory around them, and the things they need to watch out for. Suddenly, a gunfight breaks out, Hashimi's men start killing the guards of Petrov, the arms dealer. Hashimi brings Petrov's wife in front of him and kills her. Everyone is shocked, including the American soldiers. After neutralizing all of Petrov's men, Hashimi has the arms dealer's son captured, and prepares to kill him. At this critical point, the American soldiers decide to make a decision that will totally change the pace of the mission. As Hashimi is about to execute Petrov's son, the sergeant fires a shot at the criminal. Soon, an airstrike sent by Captain Eddie arrives. All the chaos distracts the enemy soldiers, and the young boy manages to escape. Now, the American soldiers realize they have compromised their position, so they must prepare for an attack. It all starts with Kinney standing too close to the enemy. Three men come out of the door below Kinney, and one of them discovers him. The sergeant fires a shot at the enemy to save Kinney. Following this, a gunfight breaks out. A fierce battle takes place, their battle skills superior to the terrorists. However, outnumbered, the soldiers are surrounded. In the midst of all this chaos, Sergeant Abel is hit by a pair of bullets that knock him down, yet he continues to fight with all his might. Kinney steps in to help him, but the wounds are fatal and Abel dies on the spot. Kinney reports to Sugar, and the latter tells him they can no longer save Abel, and must focus on the mission. Sugar informs him that there are two RPGs in different positions, that they must neutralize immediately. While the other members of the team continue to hold off the enemy, Kinney moves and reports the RPG positions to Eddie. Immediately, Eddie calls in an airstrike, which will arrive in 20 seconds. Unfortunately, during this interval, the other two team members are hit by an RPG, and it's still unknown if they've survived. Shortly, the airstrike finally arrives and neutralizes the RPGs, but now Kinney finds himself cornered by a terrorist firing at him with a submachine gun. He runs into the forest and manages to find a safe spot for the moment. Eddie asks for an update on the status of the other soldiers, and Kinney says they are most likely dead. He then gives his coordinates to the base, and Eddie prepares an evacuation plan. Kinney is extremely nervous, and Eddie tries to reassure and motivate him, saying there's a helicopter heading towards him to rescue. Eddie then scans the area for enemies, and confirms to Kinney that the area around him is clear. Kinney is shocked and still can't believe what happened, but Eddie continues to encourage him. Kinney starts walking towards the extraction point, but during the journey, he encounters a group of armed men delivering a cargo. He is forced to hide in the water, and watches as the criminals arrive. A dog belonging to one of the armed men approaches him. 
The owner comes closer, but fortunately, he doesn't see Kinney. Subsequently, the enemy moves away. After the dangerous encounter, Kinney continues walking towards the extraction point. Towards evening, he arrives at the destination. Shortly, he starts hearing the noise of the helicopter approaching, about to land at the spot. But suddenly, the enemy appears and starts shooting at Kinney and the helicopter. An RPG tries to hit the helicopter, but misses. At this critical point, the helicopter is forced to retreat from the firefight. Meanwhile, Eddie tries to assist Kinney with an airstrike that literally saves his life. After the enemy is neutralized, Eddie is forced to create a new extraction point for Kinney. The captain tells Kinney to head northeast, where the terrain might be unpleasant to traverse. As he walks towards the destination, he falls from a rather steep point, but fortunately isn't injured. Shortly, Eddie reports there are three enemies approaching him, and tells Kinney to find a hiding spot as soon as possible. However, Kinney is already in the water, and with no time to hide, he starts shooting at the enemy. Then he starts running and is forced to jump down a waterfall, under which he hides. Suddenly, when he thinks he's escaped, he finds the enemy pointing a gun at his head. He is captured by the terrorists and imprisoned. Back at the base, the colonel arrives to tell Eddie that his shift is over, but the captain insists on staying to save Kinney. Back to Kinney, an unknown man arrives at the scene, and kills the enemy guards. The stranger turns out to be Sugar. Sugar says he and Bishop survived after the RPG hit, but while he managed to escape, Bishop was captured by the enemies. Sugar says they must find Bishop and save him even without outside help. During the journey, they report to the base what they intend to do. Eddie and the chief commander forbid them from engaging with the enemy, but the two soldiers intend to carry out the mission. Eddie asks for air support in the next 15 minutes, with the goal of blowing up the bunker. The colonel orders Eddie to leave the service, replaced by another operator. Reluctantly, Eddie gives way to the other operator, and tells him to bring them home safe and sound. Moments later, Kinney and Sugar try to sneak into the enemy's property. After quickly analyzing the area, Sugar suggests sneaking in and killing them silently. The two start walking towards the property, and Sugar silently kills an enemy guard. Then they enter the house, and head towards the living room, where they notice two terrorists watching a soccer match. Sugar uses a knife to take down one of the terrorists, but when he's about to kill the other, he gets shot in the leg. Kinney helps him take down the terrorist, but another one enters suddenly. Kinney starts fighting hand to hand, without using weapons, and eventually manages to bring him down. Afterwards, a woman enters and begins to shoot, but the soldiers use a table to slam her against a glass wall. Finally, Sugar shoots her, and they exit the house. They spot terrorists arriving in a car, and start shooting. After a brief firefight, the two soldiers easily kill them. As they move on and try to locate Bishop, they encounter more terrorists in the house. At one point, Kinney is almost killed by a terrorist, but Sugar saves him. Suddenly, a grenade appears right behind Sugar and explodes. After the explosion, the two are imprisoned in the bunker. To their surprise, they meet Bishop in the cage. Kinney tries to warn the terrorists to leave the bunker, or they'll all die from the airstrike. One of the terrorists approaches Kinney, but he ignores him. After 15 minutes, the drone operator proceeds with an airstrike on the site. Meanwhile, the terrorists intend to execute all the soldiers, starting with Sugar. When they kill him, Kinney is devastated. Hashimi then orders his men to drag Kinney out of the cage, and begins to interrogate him about the American army operation on the island. He asks what the Air Force intends to do with them. Kinney keeps telling him to leave the bunker immediately, or they'll all die, but Hashimi doesn't believe him. He then tortures Kinney, repeatedly submerging him in water. The terrorists continue to torture him, without realizing something big is coming towards their bunker, the drone operator drops a bomb above them. Kinney, being underwater, manages to survive the explosion. He grabs a weapon and as he heads towards the exit, he saves a prisoner. Next, he finds and kills Hashimi with a knife. He immediately frees Bishop, and they begin to head towards the bunker's exit, because another airstrike is coming in 15 minutes. Kinney then checks the satellite phone on the table, and tries to find a signal, to tell them to cancel the attack. He finally manages to contact the base's landline phone, but after a soldier answers, he hangs up, because he's busy watching the game. Meanwhile, Eddie, who is off-duty, is grocery shopping at a supermarket. Eddie receives a phone call, but not recognizing the caller, he doesn't answer. A moment later, while waiting in line at the checkout, he finds a voicemail left by Kinney. At this point, he rushes immediately to the base, his replacement about to launch a second attack. He drives quickly to the base, and tries to call the base's landline phone, but no one answers. When he arrives at the base, he rushes to the control room, 
and orders to stop the attack successfully. Afterwards, he goes to the room where the colonel and the other soldiers are, and states they were about to kill three soldiers because of their carelessness, and starts hitting the television with a golf club in anger. Finally, Kinney and Bishop return home safe and sound. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out.